Hello YouTube. What I have here is a 26 piece premium drawing set from Castle Art Supplies. And this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Well, I went online and uh, I saw this on eBay and I thought, you know what, I might as well pick this up and give it a shot since I haven't tried this before. And You know, it was a relatively inexpensive drawing set with 26 pieces. I thought, why not? Especially if it turns out to be a really good drawing set. Um, a lot of people who, you know, are perhaps on a budget could get themselves a, a, a full drawing set for, you know, just a few bucks. So why don't we just go ahead and start digging into this. Now, of course, it comes in this plastic encased uh, packaging here. And on the back, it shows you that, uh, you know, it has these 12 graphite pencils. And then it has three charcoal pencils, soft, medium, hard. It has a uh, soft graphite sketching pencil, which basically is a woodless pencil. I can see it's looks like it's that one right there. And uh, it says it has graphite sticks, three of them, and three uh, charcoal sticks, two sharpeners, one for the graphite pencils and one for the charcoal pencils, because the charcoal pencils are real, real easy to uh, snap off so you need a different sharpener for that. A kneaded eraser for the charcoals and a plastic eraser for the pencils. Now that of course is silly. I use a kneaded eraser for everything. Um, if you see my drawing videos you know that. Alright so it looks like to open this I guess we can just try to split the split the little case here somehow. Let's see. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a tackle here. But you see I'm starting to split it. And it looks like they, they get pushed into these little tabs here. So, so far so good. Maybe it's uh, reusable. I hope it is. Yes, good. So that's the good news is that you don't have to tear into your plastic um, packaging here and throw it away that you can, you know, put your stuff back in. So here we go. I got this thing open now and it exposes all the pencils and we have let's see this sketching pencil. We'll call it a sketching pencil here and it looks like it is indeed a woodless pencil. So you don't want to drop this because it'll shatter into all kinds of pieces. And then you have your your charcoal pencils right here and you know what what I'm going to do here is I'll just go ahead and start with the drawing pencils real quick and um, let's see I'll just take one of them here so we get a we get a close-up view of what these look like now right off the bat uh, visually I think they're very nice it has a very nice uh, bluish paint job on here kind of a, a baby blue paint job I would imagine and uh, with silver writing that says Castle Art Supplies, as you see there. And then you can see that the grade is listed on the main color rather than what you usually find with drawing pencils is that'll be here. And then it looks like it's only printed one time where it's preferable that it's printed at least two times or even more than that so that no matter how the pencil lays, you can instantly see what it is. As you see, there's no way of knowing what kind of pencil this is unless you pick it up and turn it. So if you have a lot of pencils laying on your table and some of them have the grade showing and some of them do not, you don't know what it is. You got to go, is this the one I need? Oh, is this the one I need? You know, that's kind of a, a drag. So anyway, and it has this paint painted black uh, back tip here, which is nice. So it's, it's a handsome pencil. Uh, and it feels just fine in the hands. It's a, uh, a hex type pencil. 
not so much a semi-hex. It feels uh, the the edges are sharper than usual, so that it's just a regular excuse me regular hex. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down for now. I'm going to later on I'll bring my drawing pad out and we'll check out the shades. But let's go through some of these things. Here are the graph graphite sticks, and they'll tell you on here whether it's hard or soft or medium. So you got the three of them right here, which is great. I don't use these type of uh, graphite um, much. I'm, I haven't really found a whole lot for the type of art that I do of using this because I, I prefer to use the pencils for all my graphite need. Now here are the charcoal sticks. And what is interesting is the charcoal sticks is wrapped in plastic. So uh, I guess it's to protect it from, I don't know. What is it to protect it from? They didn't do that with the graphite, but they did it with the charcoal. Anyway, it comes in soft, medium, and hard as well. And they are thicker too. They are a thicker stick than the graphite. The graphites are thinner sticks. Now, we have the two types of sharpeners here. We have the charcoal sharpener, which is this black one here. And then it has this opening down here, so it, it prevents the uh, too much pressure on all sides of the pencil. And then you got, if you'll notice, the back of here doesn't have the opening, see? Um, and if you use this for your uh, charcoal pencils, you're more apt to uh, snap it. So this one just tends to leave it open and airy here so that there's less pressure on the actual charcoal lead itself. Um, it just uses the blade on one side and there's nothing on the other side. So that works really well. I have one of these in, on my table that I use for my carbon and my charcoal uh, drawing pencils and, and they work really well. And then there's just the standard uh, magnesium type metal sharpener apparently and uh, just looks like standard point sharpener no long point or anything just pretty standard stuff then you have your PVC free plastic eraser I didn't know that erasers some erasers might have PVC in it um, because it's interesting it says PVC free so I guess that's a problem. I don't know. Hmm. I have PVC that's holding this camera up here. You know, maybe I should get a PVC camera rig. Uh, whatever. Okay. And here is the needed needed eraser, and that usually comes in uh, plastic because it can dry out. Um, usually comes, you know, like in a little rectangle wafer like here and kind of like candy comes in and so you take the plastic off and you mold it and you twist it and you do all these things with it so always nice to have a bunch of knee erasers around okay so we've already talked about the the so-called sketch pencil here this is a woodless pencil in other words it's solid graphite and it is fragile. You you drop this, you're gonna it's gonna shatter. Um, and this one here is a 6B, and it says it's soft. So this is going to definitely give you uh, dark dark tone um, when you're drawing with it. And I guess this is what they call their sketch pencil. So you just use this pencil, and you can ignore all the rest when you're sketching. But then if you want to do some serious drawing, you're going to want all the shades here. And, you know, this is this is nice to have a 6B, but you have a 6B here as well. So they're basically supposed to be the same, but this one's your regular wood pencil, and this is your wood list pencil. And then that moves us into the charcoal pencils. And what's interesting in this kit is that uh, these charcoal pencils are not pre-sharpened. But maybe that's not so interesting because of how fragile uh, these cores can be. And maybe they don't want to have them snapping off the little tips inside the packaging. It would look 
are pretty shabby. And you can see it's a nice matted black finish with the silver writing and there you can see right there the Castle Art Supplies charcoal and this one happens to be the soft and then you have your medium and you have your hard. Okay, so we might as well start getting using some of these. I'm going to move this off to the side here and bring my paper into view. And so to start off, these pencils are already pre-sharpened. So let me go ahead and grab the lowest shade here. And that would be the 5H pencil. And I'm going to go start doing some shading here. And of course I'm going to speed this up. Otherwise it will take a while for you to watch me do all this. Some observations I want to kind of present to you um, as I as I had just gone through drawing all these shades uh, something interesting um, was discovered and that is if you look over here notice notice the jump from a goes 5h 4h 3h and look from 3h to 2h now that's a big jump, okay? And I noticed when I was using this 2H, I was thinking, wow, that's like the darkest 2H I've ever seen before. And on top of that, but then when I went to HB, it starts lighter before it starts to get darker again. And we get over here to 2B, and the 2B and the 2H, well, they, they seem to be the same which is leading me to believe that we have a quality control problem here. So let me just pull that 2H pencil out again. And you can see it clearly says that it is a 2H pencil. And it is in the 2H position in there. So I come over here and I'm going to just do this again with this 2H. Now see that is, that is darker than any 2H that I'm familiar with. I mean that that is a dark 2H pencil, and I'm sure you will agree that that's a dark 2H um, when you consider the 3H is that one. And then you go right to that. Ay, 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 something is smelly funny in Denmark. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out my extremely reliable... Mitsubishi Hi Uni. You know, these folks should pay me for all the advertisement I give them. But anyway, and I'm going to pull out a 2H pencil from these folks right there. 2H. Move that off to the side and to show you all that it is a 2H. And by the way, what I was telling you before about having the writing on all the sides or at least more, more than once, 
So no matter where you lay this pencil down on the paper, you always know what it is. These are very highly recommended if you're willing to pay the price. They are on the pricey side, uh, but they're well worth it if for drawing pencils. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the 2H with this Mitsubishi here. Now you see that? That's a 2H, my friends. That's a 2H. Let me just zoom in there for you. Do you see the big difference there? This is a 2H, the Mitsubishi, for example, and this is their 2H. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. So, I'm going to venture that we're looking at a mismarked pencil. And so I'm going to pull up the 2B pencil from Mitsubishi. And I'll bet that that's probably the one we have here. Let me just go draw right next to it. Ta-da! Yeah, it's mismarked. Mismarked. I'll we'll have to contact those folks. They can send me a 2H pencil because they owe me one. All right. You see, I I go out of pocket. I buy these things. Um, if I don't go out of pocket, I will mention where I got it from. But in this case, this is another one of the products I reviewed that I have paid out of pocket so they owe me a pencil. This here should not be a 2H. This is a 2B pencil and for that there's only one thing I can do and that is I'm going to scrape that off and ruin the paint job and I'm going to write 2B on this pencil. All right so Clearly, quality control is not that good. You may recall from a video I did on the Krita Color drawing kit that uh, there was a pencil in there that was out of order as well, even though it was marked in order. Uh, and it was also a quality control problem. So I have a real issue with products that um, have these mismarked pencils. Because what you need to do, and this is my tip to you, is that if you buy yourself an inexpensive pencil set, such as this one, draw out the grades for yourself and make sure that they are in order. They should be going from light and getting just mildly darker all the way down. When you have something like this, make sure to remark your pencil and, you know, just consider it part of the business to get cheap pencil set that you're going to be missing a particular pencil. Or I would email the company and ask them to send you that pencil. What they might actually do is they might actually send you a whole pencil kit. Who knows? Wouldn't that be cool? I I'll let you know if that happens. Okay, now what do I think about the quality of the graphite itself? I think it's okay. I think it's good. Uh, I didn't notice any kind of grittiness so much. I mean, there's a little bit on the, the really light pencils, but that, you know, unless you're going to spend $2 a pencil, uh, this is acceptable quality graphite. I didn't at, while I was shading, I didn't really say, oh, I would not like to draw with this. This would be a real bummer. No, that thought never entered my mind. I thought, hey, this ain't too bad, you know? I didn't spend very much on this. And, uh, you know, I could do some really serious art with this. So the graphite pencils are good. I'm going to rate them good. That's my opinion. I think they're good. Quality control, eh, not so much, okay, as you can see here. All right, so let's move on now to that woodless pencil. 
Now here we go with their 6B woodless pencil. You see it's they usually come solid black with white lettering. Uh, this is more of a kind of a white or gray lettering. It's kind of hard to tell because it's very thin uh, type font. But let's go ahead and shade her down. I'm going to do it right here next to this 6B. Uh, that way I have some kind of a comparison between woodless and wood. It's very smooth, which most woodless pencils are. I love the way that pure graphite just flows on the paper. So there you go. All right. I'll put that back so I don't drop it and shatter it, shatter it all over the place, and you can take a look for yourself. Not bad, huh? All right. So it's pretty much in the 6B zone there. Now the next thing I want to do here is I'm going to grab... Let's see, why don't I grab the hard charcoal pencil. There's really not a lot to show when it comes to charcoal as far as, you know, is it a good one, is it a bad one? I've never really came across a, a charcoal pencil that I thought was bad. You know, and I, and I was running a little low on uh, charcoal pencils. Now this is the charcoal sharpener. This is the charcoal pencil. Put it together, you get pencil sharpener. Yeah, I've seen the video, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, well, now here's something. You know, isn't it great that you have someone like me that can review these things for you so you know what you're gonna get into when you buy these? This is the charcoal sharpener. This is the charcoal pencil. They don't go together. It doesn't fit in the hole. It no fit. It don't fit. <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay. I guess that charcoal sharpener was not meant for that charcoal pencil. <laughs> And it don't look like it's for any of these. Will it will it work on my regular pencils? Well, let me let me make sure that you can even stick a regular pencil in here. Yes, you can stick a regular pencil in here, but you can't stick this charcoal sharpener in here. This charcoal pencil in this sharpener. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is funny. But is it them? Or is it that they just have super thick charcoal pencils? Well, let me go get my sh uh, charcoal sharpener and let's see if it works. Give me a second. All right, well, there's my charcoal sharpener. Kind of looks like their charcoal sar sharpener, eh, a little bit. It has the opening in the bottom too. Will theirs fit in mine? No. So the problem here is, is they sent oversized charcoal pencils. Now here's a charcoal pencil that I have. And this one here happens to be a medium. See, it says medium right there. Uh, who, who makes this one? Uh, this is one called Simply Charcoal. See, it's Simply Charcoal. Okay. And it's kind of a... It's kind of a triangular pencil, but that one, okay, that fits. Let me get another one. Here's uh, another charcoal pencil that I have in my collection. This one, well, this one's not even charcoal. This is carbon, Wolf's carbon. Will it fit? Yep. Yep, it fits. It needed sharpening, so anyway. And there you go. So it's a normal sharpener. They sent, it's definitely a charcoal sharpener, and it works on the carbon pencils and the charcoal pencils that I have. But you gotta admit, it's comical that the kit would come with pencil, uh, with charcoal pencils 
that don't fit their own sharpener. What? 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 Is it just a fluke? Here's another one that came from the kit. Doesn't fit. They don't fit. So I don't think I'm going to be sharpening these. Um, with that, I wonder, will it work in my Coon Masterpiece? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. No way. No way is it going to fit in that little hole there. Might fit in the first one, maybe. Let's see. Nope. Nothing's going to fit in that. So, that's not going to work. Let's see what we can sharpen that with. How about my Coom Long Point Sharpener here? Oh, it almost fits. Let me see if I can force it in there. Hey, look, folks. It works. Check it out. Well, and that's what was to be expected. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, snap the, snap the charcoal out of this. That's why you don't use the regular sharpeners. Guess it's supposed to do that, huh? Okay. All right, there we go. All right. And I also have... Another one, it's got the black wing name on it, same thing, you know, so if I lose one, I have the other. Well, I don't have a sharpener for this, and that means it doesn't come with the kit. So the only thing you do is you got to get yourself a blade like this. And kids, make sure your folks are around with you if you're going to do this. This, is, this could be dangerous, but you always... You always cut away from your hand. Never cut towards your hand like you're cutting an apple or something. And you just want to take off these nice little slivers like this. And you rotate the pencil as you're, you know, after each cut. Just go like that. It's, it's really simple to do. And then you start to expose some of that charcoal there. Make sure you don't... You don't cut into it. You don't want to cut into it. It's very, it's very soft. Even if it says it's the hard charcoal, it's soft. Trust me with, about that. Okay, and you just kind of push with your thumb and let it glide by the thumb, and you can you can feel if you're hitting that. And there you go. Now I've now that I have my uh, charcoal exposed. The next thing you do. You grab one of these uh, sandpaper deals here. These are always nice to have. And if you don't happen to have charcoal powder, which I keep a jar of it, I have a jar of it, so I don't need to save any, you should save the uh, what you sand off because you can use it uh, for lots of your, your drawings. But you just kind of slide it on the, the sandpaper there as you're turning it to give it a tip. Depending on how much of a tip you want. A few moments later. Okay. And it depends on what kind of tip you like. Um, 
with these I kind of like a little bit of a point so there you go there's a nice little point there don't have to shave off too much of it be careful if you're doing it this way when you're trying to save the uh, charcoal that you you don't scrape the actual sand off the paper you don't want that there you go see pretty much cleaned it off and uh, you can use that in your drawings and just you know blend it on nice stuff okay hmm wonder what that tastes like oh my god no 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 don't do it so it's good charcoal didn't think it wouldn't be but now you know in advance that uh, you're gonna have to find other means of uh, sharpening these uh, charcoal pencils because the sh charcoal sharpener that comes in the kit doesn't have a hole big enough for the diameter of these pencils wow I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the kit because I'm gonna put them over here with my other charcoal pencils then of course you have your PVC eraser here there you go works great well folks that's the Castle Art Supplies 26 piece premium drawing set so for $13 it's not bad I mean you get you get all the the drawing pencils you get this extra woodless pencil you get three charcoal pencils you get the kneaded eraser you get this PVC free plastic eraser you get a charcoal sharpener a regular sharpener uh, which is going to give you you know pretty much a regular point like that instead of a long point but that's fine gives you three charcoal sticks gives you three graphite sticks uh, I think it's a pretty decent deal it's not a steal but I think it's a nice low cost uh, to get yourself started with pretty much most of the things you will need you should probably would be nice if they added in some blenders you maybe maybe one or two of those paper blenders would be nice um, but other than that, uh, I think it's a, a, a great little kit. And I, and I think the pencils are qu quality enough uh, to make the whole thing uh, worth getting. If, if uh, you don't already have these items and you just want to kind of get it all at one, one time, there you go. Here's one way to do it. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if so, please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate those. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments below. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.